bike blogger here. Got my bike. I'm going to try and test this thing down here, the Wahoo RPM speed sensor. Hey, bike blogger here. We got the Wahoo RPM speed sensor. So you can see it there. Um, it's just a little speed sensor for the bike. It goes on the front hub of the bike. All right, here's the Wahoo RPM um, instructions. So it says uh, to turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. And then it says download an app, uh, the Wahoo app or a different compatible training app. And then activate the sensor by shaking it. So let's go ahead and uh, activate the sensor by shaking it. Shaking it. There it is. You can see uh, a little blue light flashing. So when that happens, we need to connect uh, an app. Okay, so I spin the wheel and then I opened the Wahoo Speed app. It's connecting now. It'll tell me how powerful my signal is there on those green bars. Uh-oh, says, please make sure this Wahoo Speed is turned on. So I can just do search again. Um, has a name of Wahoo Speed. Uh, so for different bikes, if you want to move it from one bike to the next, you can do that. And uh, it says connected now. Uh, so now I could go hit record and start recording my ride. You also enter wheel circumference here, so 2134 millimeters. That's my wheel circumference. So on a previous video, I showed you what to do here. Um, you got your bike on the floor, you got the wheel at the end of the tape measure there. You line up the valve with the end of the tape measure. Uh, get it as close as you can. And then you're going to go one revolution of the wheel uh, across the floor like this until the valve hits the floor again. And I recommend doing it multiple times. Looks like we're at about uh, seven feet, pretty much on, on the dot, seven feet, which is 84 inches, which is uh, 2,134 millimeters, I think. Uh, as simple as that, the Wahoo Speed app is very simple. That's what I like a lot about it. If all you want to do is collect your data off of Wahoo, uh, your Wahoo sensor, and uh, you know, then output it to a different third-party application, you can do that. You don't have to go straight directly to the third-party application like Strava or something. Um, I don't know for accuracy. Maybe I'd recommend using the Wahoo Speed app. It seems to work okay. So you can go under uh, linked sensors and you can see all of your linked sensors and you can give them names for different bikes and you can go add sensor and you can add more sensors which it's very convenient it seems to be very um, self-explanatory very user friendly now going back to the instructions here it says after you pair your uh, speed sensor with your phone app uh, you can update firmware if prompted. I wasn't prompted for that. Then you select your tire circumference, wheel tire circumference. I already did that. That was 2134 millimeters. And then the last thing on here it says save sensor. So uh, we did that already. So now all we got to do is mount the sensor. And it should just start recording when I hit record on the app. So how do you mount this thing? Pretty simply, you put the sensor in the holder and then you connect the strap to that and then you wrap the strap around the hub. So, let's see what we got to work with. We got three pieces. We got the sensor, we got the holder, and we got the strap. First step, take the sensor, put it in the back end of this uh, holding thing. You can't push it through the front it's not going to fit. You got to fit it through the back here like this. Just slip it in the back. You know. So there you go. I don't know if it dep I don't know if it really matters which side is which, except this side you'll be able to see the blinking uh blue light when it's uh in motion. It's not blinking right now. Oh my gosh, my battery's dead. My battery's dead. Oh, I need a refund. Okay, now we attach our strap. You got two sets of hooks here. 
on the outside and on the inside. So connect the base of the strap right here to the inside hook. So just basically tug on it. So now it's all one piece. And then you'll wrap this around your hub, your wheel hub, just like that. Simple as that. All right, so let's attach this to the wheel hub here. This is a very narrow, uh, a very, if, if you can see here, let me give you a closer up look there. It's a very small hub. What I would recommend doing is maybe wrapping a little piece of old inner tube around your hub maybe. All right, don't get jealous now. I got a bag full of spare inner tubes from all my busted tires. So uh, let's go ahead and cut ourselves a little inner tube. So here we go. We still got our tape measure out. We got about half a foot of inner tube. And uh, just to make sure we get the right kind, we got Schwalbe. Uh, number 18 Extra Light. This is for a uh, 700C tire. I think it's meant for uh, like 32 millimeter cyclocross tires. So I recommend that for this situation. If you happen to have this exact same wheel I got. Ugh. All right, we got our inner tube. Got our electrical tape. Let's go ahead and wrap the hub with the inner tube. So there you go. So there is your Wahoo speed sensor with your extra spare inner tube. Always carry a spare inner tube. So another thing you can do is twist the strap multiple times and that will hold it on tighter. Only risk is maybe the strap would break by twisting it like that. So here's the latest solution I've come up with. I'm using a O-ring, an R21 O-ring for my particular bicycle. R21 is an O-ring of the size of inner diameter 1 and 1 sixteenths and the outer diameter of 1 and 5 sixteenths. So uh, I just happen to have an O-ring kit here. So there you have it, O-ring, and then a the little bit of uh, inner tube just to prevent the hub from getting scratched. All right, so there's the sensor with the O-ring. It's not going nowhere. It's on there pretty dang tight. Only disadvantage, it's kind of hard to get on and off. All right, we're spinning the wheel. And we're registering a speed of seven miles per hour. Um, and yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so this is Ride With GPS. I got my uh, Bluetooth on. I also have my GPS turned on and I have my mobile data turned on. Now some GPS programs, they're more accurate if they can connect to cell towers, which is mobile data. So just to be absolutely most accurate possible, I have that on with GPS. And of course I have my Wahoo speed sensor with Bluetooth. So hoping between all those things, I can get a very accurate instantaneous speed. That's what I'm aiming for. So if I go under settings for ride with GPS, I can go under Bluetooth and sensors, enable Bluetooth, which is checked. And then I can go set up Bluetooth devices. I've already set up my Wahoo, but you would go in there and search for the device. Um, and then uh, you gotta wait until it says connected. Now, uh, if you're having trouble getting it connected, it might be because the sensor is asleep. So I'm sp spinning the wheel right now. And we will see if we can get it to connect. This is kind of one of the annoying things with wireless, which is why I, uh, I tend to prefer wired. Okay, now it's discovering, now it's connected. So, um, and you enter your wheel circumference and you hit save. And now you're set to go once it says connected there. And you can hit go ride and you can start riding, but you gotta wait for the GPS signal to acquire. It says GPS ready. Okay, so now we're gonna do a test with ride with GPS. Oh man, and the sun is definitely coming down now. Uh, so I'm gonna do a few different tests. Oh, I need water. Ugh, my mouth. 
Um, so I'm gonna do a few different tests. I'm gonna do a test where I kind of go fast and then I stop. And then I'll do a test where I'm kind of going slow like I'm going right now. And then we'll just go fast, slow, fast, slow and just see how accurate it is with picking up, uh, fix my mirror there, picking up instantaneous speed. Oh my gosh, sorry about the sun. Let's go this way. So there are quite a few people um, walking around in this area. I was gonna try to find a nice quiet area, but there are people about in this parking lot. Even though it's a Thursday afternoon, you'd think most people, I gotta shave. Even though most people uh, are not supposed to be here right now. They're like me, they must be on some weird work hours or they're unemployed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go kind of fast. Doo -ba -doo. Seeing what sort of speed the uh, program is registering. And then just making sure I'm in a safe spot without any cars around. I'm gonna stop right here. All right. So how quickly did that switch from I don't know, 15 miles per hour to zero miles per hour. That is kind of what I'm trying to figure out. So that was one stop and go. Let's try it again here. I need to oil my chain too. Uh, I think I'm wearing on my chain a bit. Okay, and stop. I mean, obviously I can't instantaneously stop, but I'm trying to see if I can get the sensor to go. Woo, that sun, it's bright. See if I can get the sensor to go down to zero. Cause I've noticed sometimes with some apps, you're kind of riding along and then you hit, you know, you go, you brake to stop and then you even stop completely. And uh, it still says you're going like four miles per hour or something. To stop. All right. This is very unscientific, but you know, there's a lot of things going on here. I'm trying to connect to this, the Bluetooth sensor, the GPS, and the mobile data, and all this jazz. I wish it was simpler. Let's go this way. All right. We're gonna stop over by this light post don't run into it okay all right so that was the first test we'll see how accurate that <laughs> how accurate it actually is so now we're just gonna kind of roll kind of slowly and see see what happens with the speedometer here I'm gonna slow down to a crawl I don't know how fast this is. I'm guessing it's about five miles per hour. Or it's almost walking speed. So, trying to keep my balance. It's a good balancing uh, exercise, by the way. Just try to go really slow. It's a little easier on a fixed gear bike because you can uh, push back on the pedals and keep your, uh, keep your, uh, I think I just got a text message. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, hopefully that doesn't affect my, uh, my accuracy here. Okay, so we're going real slow. So how did that turn out with the ride with GPS? Um, I'm gonna go fast, slow, fast, slow. So let's speed up. Let's see if the speedometer cranks up. And I'm gonna slow down right now. So the speedometer is slowing down now. All right, let's speed up. By the way, I'm on a, on a single speed bike, so I don't have anything with cadence. I'm just checking for speed. Slow down. <laughs> it's such torture. You know, why would you speed up and then slam on the brakes, speed up and slam on the brakes? Oh, so much work, so much work. Okay, so I'm looking over to the right. It's kind of smoky over there. I saw someone throw out a cigarette, I think, uh, just back there a second ago, and they didn't put it out. This, these are 
These are how forest fires happen, guys. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, so now it's recording. My GPS is on. So now we're going to do a test, uh, just like last time. So now we're gonna do a test with the Wahoo RPM speed sensor. We're gonna do a stop and go test here. So we'll speed up. Give it a little time to register at least. And then we'll hit, we'll hit the brakes. So does it say zero miles per hour? I don't know. Let's get going again. Speed up. Maybe the parking lot isn't the safest place to be doing something like this. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so we're gonna speed up again. Into the sun. Is there that cop car behind me? Yeah, there's a cop car back there. Okay, so let's make a left here. I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, so now we're just gonna kinda roll around slowly as the second test. Spin it back around here. Yeah, there goes that uh, cop car over there. Um, so, we're just rolling slowly here. Nice and slow. Slow going, we're gonna see, can we get down to like five miles per hour or three miles per hour? Squeaky brakes. Those so springs, those return springs. I love that though. <laughs> they click, clip, click, click. Yeah, they click. Really, okay, so we're going slow. Let's cut down the sidewalk here. No one's coming from the other direction. We're just going straight into the sun. Okay, let's speed it up a little. Here comes a motorcycle. There goes the motorcycle. I'm gonna drop down here, actually. I don't know what that's gonna do to the sensor. <laughs> okay. All right, and then uh, what was the last test I was gonna do? Oh, rambling on a bike. <laughs> um, Kind of slow, fast, slow, fast. So let's go fast. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna go fast. Now maybe I'm expecting too much from this sensor, you know? Maybe, uh, I can't even remember how accurate my wired magnet sensor was in the past. Like how quickly it reacted to movement. Um, I would imagine just as quick as, you know, we can register the, the magnet. You can get a magnet sensor from Wahoo. It's called the Blue SC or something. This is the Wahoo RPM though, which uses an accelerometer, the spinning hub to measure speed rather than, you know, a sensor fixed on the bike and a magnet passing by it. There's some people on their scooters. All right. Speed up and slow down. Slow down. Speed up. And it's kind of unfortunate. I'm probably not going to be able to wear uh, short sleeves uh, in the coming weeks here. I'm actually kind of lucky right now I can do that. Speed up. and then we'll slow down. Let's go over here, nice and slow. So I guess that's it for testing out the ride with GPS with, with the RPM speed sensor from Wahoo, and then with the Wahoo app and the RPM speed sensor. Now the Wahoo app, um, does not create a GPX file. You need um, you need a converter to convert it because it creates a FIT file, uh, which I believe should have the speed data, um, but it creates a FIT file. So how do you convert that to GPX? There's a few methods. I think GPS Babel is one free program. Uh, there's a Java program. 
uh, called Fit 2, number 2, uh, GPS, or GPX, I think, something like that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and stop, y'all. Let's take a look at our phone. All right, here we go. So here's the uh, Wahoo. I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to hit stop. Stop workout, yes. So that will then create a .fit file that I can export. So we'll uh, take it back home and see what the damage is, see uh, how accurate any of this stuff is. <laughs> Average speed, 9.3 miles per hour. All right, so that's it for the Wahoo RPM Cycling Speed Sensor. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. It's lightweight at only seven grams, has a battery life of 12 months, it's waterproof, wireless, fun little device. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Bike Blogger channel.